Hey guys, welcome back. This is Val. Welcome to our blog video. Now, in today's video, I want to cover seven remarkable renders in one of our free Facebook groups, uh, Create Amazing 3D Art with Ease. If you're not part of this amazing group, you can just join. There's a link below this video. Now, back to our seven remarkable renders. I'm going to also cover what kind of makes these images tick because there is some specific things I want to highlight in each and one of them. So here we have Elizabeth Walsh, which has posted uh, an incredible promotional image here that just looks amazing. Now, what makes this image tick? First of all, the lighting is exceptional. Okay, it's very soft and it's something you want to use for your female renders. It's just remarkable, right? Super, super soft. Next, we got a really soft and gentle female posing. It's super, super female. There's curves everywhere. There's attention to the single smallest details. Then we got the eyes, all right? Always add some kind of sparkle in the eyes to make them stand out. All right, great. Let's move on to the next one. Here we have Mark Hale, which posted here an amazing render uh, called MA What's Next. And this is truly stunning. I love the realism. I love the face, how real it looks. And at this close range, we got to pay attention to all these surfaces, right? How materials are applied, how they look like, um, the skin settings, and also some kind of variations to the face because seldom are our faces equal on the left and right, right side, right? And we kind of feel there is some differences. There is a little bit more bulging details here than here. And it's small nuances. The, the nose is slightly skewed as well. And it just adds personality to the character. And you can do all those things manually, right? You can, you know, add morphs and so forth. So then again, we have very dramatic lighting and we also have eye reflections and sparkles that just make the eyes uh, striking, right? It's a great expression, really thoughtful eyes. Um, kudos to that, Mark. Thank you so much for sharing. Let's move on. Here we have John, Ar John sorry, I can't pronounce that. John, uh, Jar John Mudd. I have a problem with that. I'm sorry. So I hope I'm not mispronouncing your name. Here is a share is care render with a cat and a mouse and a little bit of cheese and it's just incredible i love how the fur looks like how the cat is super super you know uh, interested in this mouse and what that mouse has to deliver and it's just incredible i love the low camera angle it's very dramatic you know low camera angle so if you want to increase drama in your renders low camera angle is the way to go i love the strong depth of field the blurry background so to speak and all that it's a really cool render and I also like that you are, you know, adding very soft lighting here. The lighting is not providing so much drama. Instead, the drama is provided by the details, by the sh shapes, colors and all that, right? Thanks so much for sharing. Great stuff. All right, let's move on. Here we have by Carl Rich, a really colorful render and I love how striking this is. It just really pops out of the screen right at you. And... What I love about this is that there is a lot of stuff going on, but yet we manage, Carl managed to draw attention towards where the, the character is, right? And that is because we are using a different type of texture and light and color that makes this character stand out. So um, there is a, a orange tint in the background. There is yet green here on the uh, top uh, headpiece, right? And the character naked skin stands out against the uh, details in, in the background here. So I really just love how this just pulls you straight towards and there is so much chaos going on. And yet we are immediately drawn to her face. Really good stuff. All right, Carl, thanks so much for, for sharing. This is another render by uh, Gerd John Mudd, uh, uh, which is just incredible. Mystic Forest. I think this is so wonderfully created. There is so much serenity. I love how the lighting falls, the shadows, the softness, the depth it has, and the bubbles or whatever it is in the midair. It's so cool, so perfect. I love this stuff. Great stuff, thanks so much for sharing. Let's move on. 
So Joanne Smith here posted a few days ago an incredible image and she mentions the dress inspired this image. I wanted to do something a little bit more intricate than a woman just standing wearing a dress and ended up with this. I think this is remarkable. I just love the pose. I love that she's kind of like hanging onto the bars. There was so much white. The, kind of the environment provides some kind of intrigue. And then, like Joanne mentions, it's not just, you know, she's not trying to look super sexy. There is no heels on her legs, on her feet. Uh, the pose is not sexy per se. There is a little more tension to it. The bars provide, you know, some additional... Uh, like I said, intrigue and story, right? So it's kind of awkward and weird, and I love the simplicity of it. And it, I mean, the face, the eyes, it, the, the hair and all that is just striking. I also love the contrast between the white and her darker outfit and the hair and all that. It's just incredible. One of the best renders I've seen in a long, long time. Thanks so much for sharing, Joanne. Let's move on, guys. We have one more to cover. Here's a written by Savio Mac, and it looks incredible. Uh, just incredible attention to details. I love the, all the hands and fingers, how they are well put together. We got the match and the light, and just incredible focus on that in a moment. It's very much captured right in the moment. I love all the smoke added and all that. Looks very realistic, and the soft lighting really contributes to this render as well. Plus, I love them kind of like, a, you know, the, the smoke kind of follows the hair, hairline. So it's like a almost like a soft blonde version of the hair. It's really cool, that effect. And another thing, guys, and this is something that really impresses me, is that this character this guy is having a little bit of dirt on his fingers. It's in the moment. It's in the action. It's just. It's not just a perfect, uh, you know, three D model loaded into Dash Studio and rendered. It's really made believable by adding some subtle dirt and all that. Kudos to that. Thank you so much for sharing. And guys, that's our seven renders. Now we have images literally being posted each and every day i haven't counted but i think we have 30 40 posts each and every day there is a gazillion of posts awesome renders great feedback and if you're not part of this group you should it's completely for free just click on the link below to join now if you want to master dash studio i highly recommend you check out our new one dollar seven day trial of our super 3d art quick start so guys, as you can see, I can just scroll and scroll and scroll and keep scrolling because it's just an incredible amount of posts in here and it just never ends. So guys, thank you so much for, for those of you who are in this group. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your incredible work. Just guys, look at this incredible art in our group. It's just amazing. So that's all for this video, guys. Have fun with your art and I'll see you soon again.